Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nathan here. <laughs> Welcome back to Vibes and Frequencies. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some more ET information. A lot of you guys have been noticing I've been putting out a lot of videos and content lately that has to do with my extraterrestrial, uh, basically, origin and contact experiences that I've been having. So right off the bat, <laughs> I want to tell you guys, this video, I'm specifically talking about the Pleiadians, the Pleiadian prophecy. To tell you the truth, out of all the ET stuff that's going on, I've heard from a lot of different people. I've got it on pretty good authority that there's a lot of other ET races. I have a friend named Tori that I trust with my life. She's a very honest person. And she told me that she sees cigar-shaped UFOs. I have never seen anything like that. <laughs> so it's clear to me that some people are attracting certain energy ETs, while as others are attracting others. Now, what I've been attracting is these spherical orb crafts that look like super bright light as if they were a star. And when they come in closer, they're like both see-through and reflective like a mirror at the same time. It's very interesting. But the number one contact that I've had where it's actually with physical beings, where I might even have experiences that I've had in dreams or in astral travel where all of a sudden ETs show up and give me a message, it's always the Pleiadians. So it's clear to me I have some kind of Pleiadian uh, connections going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? For, for this Pleiadians to keep coming to me. And so I've learned a lot about the Pleiadian prophecy. And the interesting thing is that I learned about the Pleiadian prophecy first from the ETs, where I was actually visited, I was astral traveling, and all of a sudden, this ET appeared, and she was like this ancient woman who would look like she was like 300 years old was the vibe I got. And she just, her, she started morphing and changing and she looked like this, like really ancient Nordic lady, but she was vibrating energy that I've experienced off the grays before and from other UFO contact experiences. So basically she shared this information with me about the Pleiadian prophecy. And after that, I was interested. So I started reading more about the Pleiadian prophecy because when you have someone just appear to you while you're astral traveling and sit you down and tell you, this is what you're doing here. Here's this huge event that's going on. Stop doing certain things that you've been doing and start doing more of this because it's more in alignment with who you are and what you came here to do. It's like, okay, I'm going to search Google real quick. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys some more information about the Pleiadian prophecy and what I've learned and how this energy is actually taking place in my life. What is the purpose of the Pleiadian prophecy? I'm going to just say right now, if everyone doesn't mind to do so, let go of everything you've heard about the Pleiadian prophecy. If you've read books, if you've read articles, if you've read starseed blogs, let it all go. And you can pick it back up at the end of this if it resonates with you more. But what I'm about to say to you might be a little bit contradictory to what you've heard. So at the very least, this video is going to give you a really great opportunity to reaffirm either what you already believe or open up into something that might be even maybe a little bit more powerful than what you thought before. So let's just let it all go together <laughs> because this is actually what I've learned from the Pleiadians and about the Pleiadian prophecy. What is the purpose of it? Why are the Pleiadians here? Well, I'll tell you right now, they're not actually here to get us all on the same page about this prophecy, this prophecy, because the idea about any kind of prophecy, whether it be Pleiadians or not, is actually that the more people that believe in something, the more people agree with something, they give that their power and it manifests and it becomes real. Look, for example, as a very simple one, that the collective who there's so many people, like 90% of people believe that the world basically revolves around money and that you have to focus really hard on money and you basically work all day and then you play after. So our society is prioritizing working and running on a hamster wheel versus actually being and living their lives. Now look at this interesting manifestation. Everybody believes that. Everybody gives their energy to the idea that they have to work a nine to five job. And so it is. We are creating that as a society. So this is what the thing about prophecies is. You right now and I, and I'm going to speak more about me and, and use my own examples. I've been living a prophecy. I've been living a self-fulfilling prophecy that I've been giving my attention to, and I've been forgetting to put energy in the place that I, who, who I really am. And I'll hint right now to you guys that that's what the Pleiadians are here for. They're here to help us be who we really are. 
So here's the deal. You have a story in your mind. You have beliefs about who you are based on things that happened in the past, based on things that your parents told you were true, based on things that you've seen on the, the TV, on the news, based on things that you see in everyday life, like the whole nine to five job thing, like the world revolves around money. And that's the most important thing, right? There's all these different ideas that we have even about our own personality and who we think we are. So what ends up happening is we carry around these beliefs and we're actually giving them our energy. We're giving them a very powerful energy and spark within us. And so it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You believe that you are this, that this is who you are, that this is what's happening. You act that way. You live that way. Life reflects to you that, yes, it's true. And so it is. So we all have this kind of ego story about what we think is really important. And more recently in my life, I kind of forgot who I was a little bit and became very focused on certain work goals I have, certain projects I was actually excited about. But what happened is I started to believe in my mind, my whole world, my whole universe started to revolve around these projects, this career, these new ideas I was having. And it was all good. It's all great. You know, you can do whatever you want with your attention is what I've learned. But the idea of what I'm saying and sharing is that I ended up becoming this version of me that was unable to be who I am. And I lost a lot of my genuine power and authenticity, getting stuck in a loop of who I thought I was supposed to be. So on a microcosmic and a grand scale, we are all doing this. Some of us more than others. Some of us probably aren't doing it all. And some of us are probably doing it so much that we wouldn't even be able to receive the message of this video because it's hard to hear when you're talking over life. And that's what we've been doing in our minds. A lot of us guys, we've been talking over life. We keep talking over it and projecting at reality what it's supposed to be. We keep projecting our story at it. If you're always talking in your mind, if someone's talking to you in a conversation, for example, are you actually listening to them? Are you actually hearing their meaning of their words? Or is it possible that what we've actually been hearing isn't what someone's actually trying to say to us. We're hearing our own definitions of the words that they're saying. We're constantly processing what someone's expressing based on our own past experiences. So basically, we're not actually listening to each other. You're listening to yourself while someone's talking. So we're not actually hearing each other. And on a bigger level, we're not even hearing ourselves because we keep talking over who we actually are. So the Pleiadians. It would be extremely ironic if what they were trying to do is come here and tell you a story to start projecting at reality. That's not what they're here to do. The Pleiadians, in my experience, this ET contact, it is the opposite. It's not meant to give a new story with you to addict yourself to, to shove your head in this hole. No, no, no. The Pleiadians here are to shake things up. They're here to kind of smack you and wake you up and say, this is life. You've been living in a story in your mind and you've been missing what's actually happening. You've been missing the power of who you really are because you've been trying to find it in your mind or believing that it's something that it isn't or this or that. So the mind is an extremely powerful tool, but so is a screwdriver. A screwdriver is also a very powerful tool. Now, when you have a screw that you need to screw into the wall, the screwdriver is a very good tool. You pick it up, you screw it in. But what if then you didn't put the screwdriver down? You instead just carried the screwdriver around all day, believing that the screwdriver is you. That would be idiot, the idiocracy. Imagine somebody knocks on your door, your friend's there, and he says, hey, this is my new friend, Sam. This is Nathan. But I'm not actually showing them Nathan. I'm holding a screwdriver out in front of me saying, hi, this is me. <laughs> That's what we're doing with our minds. It's a tool. But unless you're actually working on a project that that tool makes sense for, like screwdriving in a screw, why are we carrying it around in front of us? We're missing our entire experience because we're just staring at the screwdriver and we're missing everything else. And that's what the Pleiadians are here to do. They're here to kind of, in a sense, smack you. So you can open your eyes and go, holy crap, I've been living in a dream. I haven't actually been here being who I am, experiencing life. Our society, the majority and collective of people are doing this on a massive level where in relationships, for example, 
Most people aren't actually interacting with the partner that they're in their relationship with. We're not actually seeing each other. They're just two minds interacting with each other. It's just two people holding screwdrivers, clanging them against each other. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Who we really are is this energy behind this character that we believe ourselves to be. And the Pleiadians are here to shake things up and help loosen our grip on stories and ideas as a whole. Because the more we grip onto ideas and stories and all these different things, we start missing who we actually are. It's like we fall asleep in a dream and we miss life. So the Pleiadians, every time I've had ET contact, it is the same exact effect. It's like, whoa, I was asleep. Now I'm awake again, right? They're not trying to give you some new story. The Pleiadians aren't here with some whole new script to tell you this is what's happening and this huge group of people have manifested themselves here on the planet and this is the prophecy that's unfolding. In a certain dimension, sure, some of that energy is really happening. But the story actually removes you from being able to be a part of that energetic transformation because we cling to it. Any story, any idea, any belief that we cling to suddenly we lose ourselves in it, who we really are. So who are you really? Well, that's obviously something that I can't tell you. That's something that each of us sets down our story, sets it off to the side, and listens to within. And you'll hear it if you actually listen. But to actually listen, it's almost like you have to take your whole ego and set them to the side for a moment so that you can actually hear because otherwise, you're just processing everything and you're just shoving it through this filter. And when information gets filtered, it comes out the other end, not authentic. You want the raw power of who you are. You want the raw energy. You are part of this prophecy taking place, but it's not the kind of self-fulfilling prophecy that we perhaps maybe thought because that's what we've already been living. That's what the Pleiadians are here to wake us up out of is walking around in a daydream because we're really missing all the awesomeness and we are hurting ourselves. We're hurting each other. We're not accepting ourselves for who we are. We're always trying to change ourselves. We're never really seeing the beauty of who we already are right now in this moment. We're torturing ourselves. We're being mean. We're bullying ourselves. We're bullying each other. We're judging each other. We're littering our world with trash, with waste. We're creating so many problems and it's all because we're so addicted to our own personal story that we're unable to actually see who we really are and who each other are and what this beautiful gift of life is. So this is the Pleiadian prophecy, in my personal opinion. <laughs> the whole idea is to shake you free of all of your ideas, to show you that if you are committed to this whole story where this is my project and this is what's super, super important, this is who I am. This is who I am. This is what's going on. And you get super addicted to that story and you start missing everything else. Then all of a sudden, a UFO pops up in the sky, comes down and hovers above you, levitates you off the ground. And these Pleiadians come out and just start looking at you and doing certain things to you on an energetic level that your mind starts shoving into boxes because it's unable to perceive. <laughs> if I sound really specific, it's because I'm talking about one of my experiences I recently had. So it's it's... They're shaking you free because when you see something like that, that's so out of the ordinary, it causes you to go, whoa, maybe there's something more going on than I thought. That's the purpose of the ETs coming to us, at least the ones that I've interacted with. It's to catch you off guard, show you something unexpected and reveal to you that maybe, just maybe, the box that you've been living in doesn't have to be a box. Maybe you are actually outside of the box who you really are. So thanks so much for joining me today on Vibes and Frequencies. I really appreciate you guys. I got lots of ET videos coming out right now, sharing all kinds of experiences, energy, practices. I've actually learned a lot about manifestation from ET energy and from certain downloads that I actually got from a being that was in a craft in the center of the earth and shot it up at me. So I'm very excited to share that with you. So I'll see you guys soon. And uh, yeah, <laughs> much, much love. All right. Peace out.